listening to the NXT Podcast, your home for weekly NXT reviews and insight. The beautiful part of NXT is that when one dream ends, another dream begins. Find all of your NXT news, recaps, and analysis right here. So with that being said, we only have one question for you. Are you ready? We thought so. Let's get the show started right now. All right, everyone. This is Memphis Mark coming to you from Mullet Manor. And we're going to do the review for NXT on the 28th of this month. And you know what? They're leading up to a big demolition derby here uh, locally. So we're very proud of that. But we're going to do the NXT review. And here we start out. We start out with the all-knowing and the all-wise Ava. And Ava comes in and she's, you know, she's talking some good stuff about the women's division and, uh, you know, doing the build-up and the best women's division. And, uh, you know, she's going to go into, of course, bringing on the new title of the North American Women's Division. All good on all that. I just, they could have maybe put a better, you know, maybe Shawn Michaels. <clears throat> but, you know, hey, I understand if he has some speaking problems too. So, you know, we go to that. So she opens it up. She does her little deal. And then she brings out. the star of the show, apparently. I mean, you know, this is a wrestling show, but they bring out Sexy Red uh, twerking and, and coming on out with uh, uh, at least some glasses on to, I don't know, uh, you know, hey, uh, the, the face tats and everything, you know, it's a different era. I'm an old person. You know, hey, I don't quite. But the twerking, coming out into the ring and uh, and just, uh, it's all about the sexy red. It's not about NXT anymore. So they bring out somebody that they want to promote. And uh, while she, you know, Ava hands her the mic <laughs> in front of the belt is she twerks uh, or, or I think I'm calling that right uh, but it, you know alright so Ava and her have some more discussion and uh, she lets Sexy Red uh, unveil the belt and, and let me just say look I am a uh, I love rap I love hip hop I love all of that but I know they're trying to bring a new artist in that's hot and they're trying to do, but you know, you've got whoop that trick on there. You've got a Grammy award winning, uh, anyway. All right. So maybe I shouldn't go into this anyway. Uh, so sexy red gets out there, does a whole unveil of the belt. And then of course, Tatum Paxley comes up in there and she gets into a tug of war uh, with uh, Sexy Red and then Mia Chin comes out there and then look uh, Miss Chin is is, is freaking uh, I love her I love her I, I love the fact that she hasn't gotten uh, you know she just hasn't gotten the uh, promotion or the push that she should and with the family name and maybe she's a scapegoat on this deal uh, but she doesn't get the push that she has. so me Chen, anyway uh, you know she she does uh, great in this match and and hey look Tatum Paxley does very good 
uh, in this match. She uh, represents really good. Uh, but, I mean, <laughs> you know, there is an obvious discretion uh, in uh, experience. And uh, the over way to sell. Like, Mi Chen just, I mean, she... <laughs> She looks the part. She is the part. She, they should give this lady her push. Uh, and I know she's uh, probably in a teaching phase and getting over. So, I mean, she's going to win this match. Uh, you know, uh, and, and I understand why. But, uh, man, give her one good push. Uh, and then let her go back to training everyone else. Uh, just, uh, you know, just my opinion on that. Uh, you know, it, it is how it is. Uh, it's the it's way uh, WWE works. Now, I mean, they have Jada Parker come out and she gets on the mic a little bit and causes a little distraction no you know no big deal in this deal but i mean gets jada parker on the screen uh you know so i like that you know in that fact uh you know so as i said on this match so good match uh, uh you know and the proper winner if you ask me uh, but we'll go from there. <laughs> we'll go from there. All right, so uh, let me see. We have Jada, actually, though, in this calling Vic on the mic. <laughs> you know, Booker T's partner. Uh, calls him a snitch, uh, and that's, you know, anyway. And me Chin wins on this, and then they do a little promo. Uh, and then Gallus. You know, and Gallus is kind of looking for Woofy, uh, or yeah, Woofy D in my area, but, uh, you know, a uh, uh, Woof gang. And uh, they're not sure where he is, but Metaphor comes out and Mensa uh, is calling him out. You know, and taking out Noam, and, uh, you know, they say, uh, I thought you were better than this. Uh, you know, so, and then they go to another promo with Ariana Grace and Lola Vice. Now, Ariana Grace would be a great, <laughs> a great politician, uh, a, uh, a, uh, somebody that, uh, what do they call it? I can't think of it right now, but a used car salesman, a lobbyist is what I was thinking of. A lobbyist. She would do great at it. Uh, but she messes around with uh, Lola Vice, and, you know, so there's a match there. And she says the first time, uh, the un-PG, uh, and I'll have to get actual approval uh, from the head office up in uh, New York uh, to see when these, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, my guys say the words that are inappropriate, can I say them? I don't know. We're trying to make this a PG rated kind of show. I like, uh, you know, I've out, I got a lot of friends and a lot of people that comment and they, they watch the show with their kids. So never want to be anyway. Uh, a true suit of that. So here we go. All right. So uh, we go from there to, uh, yeah, uh, we've got to chase you. And, uh, you know, Raleigh Osborne uh, going against uh, against Ridge Holland. And, uh, you know, Ch you know, Andre Chase said, you know, that he wanted to kind of clear the air. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, you know, and kind of, you know, and let's just fight it out in the ring and then everybody's good. So, you know, they're going to have the match and it's Ridge and Raleigh Osborne. And look, Raleigh is really good. He's a, he's got a future ahead of him. And they have a good match. 
you know, they have a good match. But at one point in time, you hear Ridge telling everybody, I don't want to do this. You know, it's like, hey, man, uh, you know, but, and he, had, you know, he continues on and he does. But at one time, he goes to grab the stairs and uh, Thea stops him. So that's their new angle. You know, Thea is trying to bring him in. Is so, this is the story that they're writing. But after, after the match, Ridge grabs Riley and says, hey man, and puts his hand out there. And Ridge, you know, uh, you know, got his hand out and Riley just says, hey, screw you. Goes down to the bottom rope and and then Duke leaves with him. So all right, so we've got a few angles there, and then they go from there to Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. They go to a promo, and you know they're kind of calling out the champs. They've pretty much made their statement. They've said what they need to say. So, you know, Axiom and Nathan, you know, they're saying what they got to say <laughs> to them on that. So, all right. Uh, and then from there, uh, you know, we've got a, a, a locker room update. You know, everybody's trying to figure out who took out Mensa. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, they go from there and they go straight into, uh, you know, you've got, uh, Blake and Analfi and with Brindley, or, or yeah, Brindley Reese, I have to, she has to be here a little while before I know her name. That's the way I used to do my restaurant employees, unless you were there for a while. <laughs> but the OC comes in. Gallows and Anderson, and they feel a little disrespected. And they come into this match now. Anofi and Blade are just freaking great. And they have main roster written all over them. You know, it's just the way it is. Uh, but in this match, they've got to let, you know, Anofi and Blade shine get their offensive moves and they got to sell and 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 big gallows he's going to but brinley reese causes a distraction in this match because she's talking to them and then uh, uh you know somebody gets knocked off the apron and they take out brinley and then everybody's upset because Brindley took a fall on the uh, on the outside, uh, but yeah, you know it causes a distraction. And against the OC, you know you got Gallus. Uh, I mean, I mean Gallows uh, beating you down. You got Anderson machine gun coming off of everywhere, and then eventually you're gonna get the big pin. So the OC is going to win this and 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 you know uh and the oc coming into the story writing i'm all good with i like it and enough and blade man they are just good uh they're high flyers uh they can make the moves they're good on the mic you know give them the stick it's okay but you know in this potential or in this uh, eventual deal, they get the win. But then, of course, you give the champs, Axiom and Nathan, a chance to jump them after the match and take the fact that the bigger team has been in a match and they got knocked out, and it gives them a chance to shine in their glory. And look, Axiom and Nathan... You know, they're, they're one of the fastest teams I've seen in a while since 
they're more organized than Rock and Roll Express. I mean, Rock and Roll Express was the first time we'd ever seen organized moves. These guys are, you know, have taken it to a whole nother level. Uh, but anyway, we go from there to Dante Chin. They do uh, the first Singaporean um, or, or um, born wrestler. Uh, they do all the promos. They do all the stuff. Hey, look, man, give this guy his credit. He has built himself up. Uh, he has made himself better on the stick. And hey, man, he's got a following. Uh, and so Lexus King has got to come out because they show a loss, but they do a promo with him. Uh, on his win over Alexis King and of course everybody's congratulating him in the locker room and then you know Alexis comes in and says hey enjoy your 10 minutes of fame yeah, but uh, that you know what that means there's a match tonight but uh, yeah uh, they go from there they do a little cut the two rocks in uh, real quickly and you know Roxanne is you know her heel turn got okay with it but uh you got javon and uh trick in the locker room doing their little spot you know now javon i think is 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 better than trick but they bring sexy red out again uh and, and 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 yeah, they do a little spot, and this is just a push of a uh, I don't know, man. It's just a push uh, for she is going to end up hosting Battleground. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to announce that later. I'll say that, but uh, Trick, I mean Trick, is just. Anyway, Javon is very good. Javon is very good. So they got Roxanne coming to the ring on the stick because she needs to find out who her opponent is. And, uh, you know, they give her a little time on there, and she does okay. You know, I can't say anything about it, but Roxanne wants to know who her opponent is coming up. And this may be the biggest women's um, uh, on NXT that I've ever said. I mean, you know, to, to be realistic, uh, you, you, you know, Ava comes on and says this is the best ladies division. And hey, look, man, they've all been performing. You see the ladies going up to the main roster. But now, have they brought the best, and are they going to screw it up? But Ava comes out, and she does her little, you know, her little spill, the all-knowing and the all-wise. And we got to remember. But Ava comes out, and uh, she does her little spill. Uh, but it's Jordan Grace, the TNA champ. Did WWE buy TNA? <laughs> I've been distracted and I just didn't know. But the belt is around her shoulder. And Jordan Grace comes in. And Jordan Grace is good on the stick. And Jordan Grace is a bad young lady uh this is a woman that uh natty strong uh ivy strong jordan stronger <laughs> you know so hey you know they're bringing in somebody like that that is maybe new management you know, uh, this would maybe not have been done under prior ownership. You know, I, uh, 
Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty big. That's pretty big. So, uh, to me, that's one of the biggest on the show there. All right. So, uh, after that, uh, you know, uh, we've got Eddie Thorpe. Uh, they're bringing Eddie Thorpe back in and giving him a little time. And he's reborn. And, uh, and yeah, okay. So we go from there to a little promo with Chase U. And uh, Riley just keeps saying that Ridge can't be trusted. And Duke agrees. And so they go off into their corner, and uh, then Ridge comes in, and, uh, you know, they do that one day at a time routine, which, uh, yeah, yeah, been there. So uh, is that going to come into play? <laughs> All right. Finally, we have the oh crap match. We're not going to go with it correct terminology that uh, Ariana Grace used but uh, it's the Ariana Grace uh, Lola Vice match and uh, look Lola is a threatening uh, and they're doing a good build on her but Ariana Grace is maybe better than I thought she was uh, in ring skill uh, you know I mean Lola fakes her out a couple of times and it you got to be skilled to know when the fake comes. And then, you know, Lola's going to have the big strikes and, 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 and everything you need in this. But Ariana Grace is quietly, quietly becoming, uh, you know, a little surprise to me. But uh, in this particular match, <laughs> in the way they're doing this, Lola Vice gets the win in the old crap match uh and then uh, you know lola calls out shana and says you know uh you choose it young lady and then of course she comes out and they're getting ready for the underground at battleground uh and then we got a carly bright promo a cheerleader at minnesota All right, and, and then Issy is in the locker room doing a promo, uh, and she insults Natty, and Izzy is bigger and, and than everybody and stronger, and uh, Carmen uh, goes to defend her, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're seeing where they're going with that, but uh, Izzy really looks good uh, in this, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, uh, from there, you've got, uh, you know, you've got the no quarter catch crew. And they're doing a little spot. They're doing a little spot. Uh, and uh, they've got, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're putting Damon King. They're putting Big Damon up against, uh, you know, uh, Tony D of the family. Uh, but uh, it seems... The guys are a little, uh, you know, a little tore up, a little messed up. Uh, but, you know, not so bad, promo. Not so bad. But it's going to lead to the match with Lexus King and Dante Chin. And, you know, they've covered everything before. You know, they've covered, you know, they got some angles and they got some stories. But now, Lexus King and Dante Chin, it's a good match. It's a good match. Uh, Lexus is going to take it. And I'm not going to give you too much into it because it's worth going back and looking at. Uh, you know, but Mr. Stone is probably going to be involved somewhere in this uh but yeah you got a good little josh briggs saying he was signed in 2020 kind of tells the story in his promo you know not a bad spot uh but then you got sean spears the chairman coming in and he's he's kind of scared for the youth 
but he's there to guide him. So is he the answer? <laughs> we'll go from there. Uh, and after that, you got Tony D and the family doing a little promo. And, you know, Tony's saying the cup's growing on him. You know, it's kind of growing on him. So, you know, that big goofy chihuahua. <laughs> but then you go, you've got a North American qualifying match for the ladies' division. And you've got Valorant on commentary. But you're going to have Ren St. Clair going against Kleana Jordan. And they're giving Miss Jordan the push. And, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, Kiana, you know, does, you know, Ke Keelana, uh does very good. She gets the win, uh, you know, and she's getting the push, but, uh, I don't know. After that, they go, they've got Stevie Turner, you know, the, uh, the, uh, radio person they were trying to push a little while. She's hollering at Mr. Stone. And then Ava, uh, you know, comes in and, uh, and, you know, gives her a match with Miss Grace. So, you know, anyway, uh, but let's hope they don't screw this up on Grace. Please don't. This, this lady is a true bad to the bone. So maybe let's give her something. Maybe <laughs> you got a Wesley promo calling out Gallus and Joe Coffee and Oba Finney gets involved and Oba is big. <laughs> and from there, you've got uh, Gallus, uh, you got Joe Coffee, uh, and uh, you know you've got uh, uh, well, we, you got Gallus with that Wolfgang. And uh, so you got the, the brothers in there, Joe and Mark Coffey, and you've got Javon Evans and, and Trick. And they bring out Sexy Red again. And uh, look, no, look, I'm just going to cut this to the end and go, the match is okay. Match is okay. They're really trying to push Sexy Red. Okay. Uh, you know, Mike Tyson made face tattoos really cool. I'm not sure if she's pulling it off, but that's just my opinion. Uh, the, I come from a city where the first rap uh, Emmy, uh, you know, the first rap award was ever given when that was to three six. So I kind of take a little homage to the bringing somebody out like that pay uh three six some money you're already having to pay them for the whoop that trick uh you know but anyway that's a whole nother discussion uh a good match i guess you know uh sexy red gets involved uh you know javon you know javon is really good in this match He's really good, and he's going to be really, really good. And they're going to get the win uh, in this. But, I mean, uh, I just, it, it, I don't know. Give them their props. Let them have a little time out there since they had Sexy Red out there. But just not real sold on... Uh, and them, uh, you know, uh, bringing uh, musicians out like this. And just to promote a CD. And you're trying to build a wrestler's career. And you're going to take the time that they're on, uh, you know, <laughs> on actual TV. And you're going to make them have to do something so so uh, uh, extravagant uh, that they uh, you know that they get they distract someone I mean a manager is a trained person that knows how to make it work you can't train somebody in eight minutes to do that but anyway 
they do what they do sexy red gets to come out give him his belt and they dance around <coughs> okay it is what it is from this one guys uh yeah javon is gonna be a star trick needs time sexy red why and then of course lash legend comes out towards the end needs to know if you know trick was the one that jumped him you know he says no they go off air or whatever but i mean oh no that's not it that's not it at all it goes dark and then out of nowhere <laughs> out of nowhere you get Ethan Page remember him have y'all all forgot about Ethan Page well he's back you know and, and, and look uh they needed this the all ego they needed some kind of influx on the end of this i mean he takes out javon and he takes out everybody they let him do something but they needed something all right so anyway we're gonna go uh uh ethan holds up the belt in the end so they're putting another square in a round pole and uh, probably Mr. Mr. Evans rise to the top uh, but all right so here we go folks this show all right go back and check it out some good matches on there but uh, we're I'm hoping for the writing I'm hoping for the writing but anyway guys this is Memphis Mart and I'm going to tell you, if you can, get out there and help a rescue. Do what you can. And as always, spay and neuter. But this is Memphis Mark, and I am out. Thanks for listening to the WWE Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite podcast app so you don't miss a show. Or head to WWEPodcast.com. And for all of these shows ad-free, head over to patreon.com slash WWE podcast. Until then, we'll see you next time.